That's hard. I had a really, I had a really interesting experience on this one. Um, obviously, Marlon's an incredible writer, but you show up to set and, you know, he's ad libbing some of these scenes that you thought were maybe like throwaway scenes. Like the just, um, things that come out of his mouth are so funny, and I, I found myself looking at him like, God, why'd you waste time writing a script? This stuff is funny. Like you just have a show up on the day, and we will just. He's amazing to work with. It was really, it was a fun lesson for me as like an actor. I bet that, yeah, and I mean, th the energy he puts off too. I mean, he is just off the wall. I'm just like, I'm waiting to ask him how, where he gets all that energy, but what's it like acting with someone who has that much energy? Well, I'm addicted to rock star energy, energy drinks, so, oh, you know, <laughs> I'll tweet you guys. Um, but yeah, the, so that's, that's my main thing, um, the rock stars. Little juice, apple juice, not even a fancy juice, but that's sort of what keeps my energy up. And eBay, nothing gets me going like a good bid. Yes. God, <laughs> come in there at the last two seconds and you're like, bid, and you win, you're like, I didn't even need that. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts exactly when I bid on stuff. It's like, <laughs> you wanna pay that much, fine, go ahead. I, I usually get out bid on that site, but anyway. <laughs> um, is, and is there anything about, I mean, I love how this movie goes after a lot of horror movies, especially current ones, but is there anything about horror movies that really drives you crazy and that you wanted to see spoofed in this film or satirized in this film? Yes. It drives me off the walls. When they're like, hey, check that out. Hey, guys, hey, guys, check this out. Hey, check that out. It's like, hey, audience, this is important. <laughs> Like, so, yes, I want to spoof that. Just when other characters in horror movies, especially like, you know, the first one is gonna get killed off in the teen movie and whatever woods they're in right. after the topless girl ran off camera, you know, like, and they're like, hey guys, check this out. It's something suspicious in the woods. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it is, it is. And um, what would you say would be like, um, what, what's like, what was like your favorite day on set or what was your favorite scene in this movie to do? My favorite day on set was probably, oh, it was probably, okay, so it was writing a book in between this. My favorite day, get your shit together, spring, 15, <laughs> buy it, anyway. Um, but my favorite day was probably when I, so during that whole like possession scene in the basement. Like, that's me for part of it, but at the end, I'm like, Rick, I'm not sitting under there for another six hours. That is hot. It is 200 degrees in here, and I am actually tied up. So they had a stunt double go and do that. My favorite day was the next eight hours where I got a ton of writing done and free food. Yes, free food is nice. Food it, always tastes better when it's free. It does. It does. I agree. I agree completely. And um, so your book, can you tell us more about your book? Yeah, it's called Get Your Shit Together, um, and uh, it's a self-help book. A few of my own personal experiences sprinkled in there, but, uh, you know, I'm not an expert on everything. I know you would think I am, but um, that's a joke. Um, <laughs> but, um, say you were, but, but yeah, <laughs> Deepak Chopra is an expert in it, and, you know, Dr. Murad for the skin care, and Abed Duvall for the fashion, and, you know, it's just, it's a really, like, heartfelt book with a lot of sarcasm. So it's fun. Nice, nice. I look forward to that in spring 2015. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. We'll definitely check it out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.